Hello there, I'm James from Elite Pram Vehicles and welcome to this video presentation for this fantastic bright looking Audi A4 event. The car has a 1.8 litre petrol engine, a manual gearbox, just over 100,000 miles on the clock, a fantastic service history, indeed it has just been serviced. It has also passed its MOT with no advisories and it has also passed an 82 point mechanical check with no concerns whatsoever. Overall, the car is in excellent condition. It is also commensurate with its age and mileage, so please don't expect a brand new car in showroom condition. The intention of this video isn't to point out every single stone chip. It is a used car after all. It is the intention of this video to give you a fantastic understanding of this car's condition so that you can make a smart buying decision from the comfort of your own home. And there will be no surprises when you come to see the car and you know exactly what you're getting prior to travel. So starting at the front of the vehicle, everything is in great shape here. No horrible scuffs, scrapes, or dents. Nice clear headlight lenses. The bonnet does have a couple of stone chips, but certainly nothing you wouldn't expect on a car of this age. Now moving down this near side, here we have our first alloy. This car sits on 17 inch alloys. Tiny little chip just there, but apart from that, it's in good condition and plenty of tread left on this tire. As you can see from this shot here, everything looks really nice and straight, bright and clean, shiny paintwork. Nothing to report down this driver or passenger side on this near side. No horrible scuffs, scratches or dents. Arriving at our second alloy. And this one is in fantastic condition with no signs of any scuffing whatsoever. And there's plenty of tread left on that tire. Moving around to the rear of the vehicle, there are a couple of marks uh, on top of the loading area. It's pretty typical for an estate car. It is a working vehicle in that respect. Things get loaded in and out, so you are gonna get marks in that area, but there's certainly nothing that stands out and no big dents or scrapes or scuffs. As you can see, the car does have Rear parking sensors. Now moving down this offside. Similar situation to the near side, it's just in really good condition with no big scuffs, scrapes or dents to report. Arriving at our third alloy, just a little bit of scuffing just around the lip there. and there's plenty of tread left on that tire. Nothing to report here, no dents, scratches, Fantastic stuff. And finally, our final alloy. And as you can see, there's no sign of any curbing or scuffs on this alloy. Plenty of tread left. So to sum up the exterior of this vehicle, there's plenty of life left in the tyres, the alloys are all in good condition and as you've seen for yourself the paintwork is in great condition 
given the age and mileage of this vehicle. She certainly looks better than her age and mileage would suggest. Really lovely condition. Now onto the interior. So we have Arcana cloth, which is an upgrade from the standard cloth. And the interior of this car is in immaculate condition. No rips or tears in any of the seats. It's just had a professional value, so it is immaculately clean. Original Audi mats. These rear seats look like they've barely been sat in. Fantastic condition and a real testament to the previous owners how they've looked after this vehicle. It really is very tidy in here. As you can imagine for an estate vehicle, quite a big boot, it does come with its load cover shelf, which retracts. There is a dog guard also in here, which fixes into there if required. These seats do split and fold down, as you can see from the photos on the advert. And the spare wheel is present and correct and where you would expect it to be. Obviously once those seats fold down, it is a massive boot, massive load space. Isofix seats for the kiddies car seats. Electric windows here in the rear as well as the front. Into the driver's seat. And just take a look at this driver's seat, ladies and gentlemen. This car is 10 years old and over 100,000 miles. Yet yeah, it is in fantastic condition as i said earlier a real testament to how the previous owners have cared for this vehicle it's not been knocked about or abused at all the driver's seat does have uh, electric function to move the seat backwards and forwards uh, the passenger side is just as you would have in a standard car uh, manual Wonderful stuff. Now let's talk about a bit of specification. So we have electric mirrors and electric windows. Everything works as it should do. We have automatic lights. Multifunction steering wheel. Cruise control, just hiding through there. The car is a six speed manual with an electronic parking brake. A couple of cup holders here. Underneath the armrest, there's an auxiliary input just there. The front seats are heated. The controls for which are just there. The heater blows nice and warm, air conditioning blows nice and cold, and everything works. The car has two keys, one of which is in my pocket, and the other is back at the office. We shall start this fantastic car up. So, pop the key into the ignition, depress the clutch,
the car starts first time, all the warning lights came on as you saw, and all the warning lights are off. No warning lights on the dashboard whatsoever. As you can hear, the radio works. Heated seats, as I mentioned. Telephone, radio, CD and SD card compatibility. Now, of course, the beating heart of this very well specified, very clean and immaculate car is a 1.8 litre petrol engine. Which, as you can hear, it ticks over beautifully. No unpleasant noises, no bangs or rattles, knocks or squeaks. Now, I purposely haven't got this engine bay cleaned, a couple of reasons. Firstly, you really do not want to get any water into the electrical components of an engine. It is just not worth the aggravation. Believe me, I speak from personal experience. And the second reason is, by washing an engine, you can hide things such as coolant leaks and oil leaks. And this car is hiding absolutely nothing. It is bone dry, no leaks whatsoever. So you've now seen the exterior and the interior in depth. It's time to show you the paperwork for the car and to take you on a test drive. The key to any vehicle's history is of course contained within its documentation and this particular Audi has been really well looked after. Starting with the V5 logbook, I've just covered the previous keeper's details for data protection reasons. But as you can see here, there are two former keepers plus the one that's covered. If we can just get the camera to focus, there we go. Two former keepers plus the one that's covered, that's three in total, so a three owner vehicle. Next here we have the latest MOT certificate. And as you can see, the expiry date is the 29th of November 2019, and it passed with no advisories whatsoever. We have the original Audi owner's manual wallet and within it all the owner's manuals also within there are a stack of receipts for various bits and pieces uh, over the years works have been carried out to the vehicle tires and brakes and things like that plus all the previous MOT certificates and finally here we have the vehicle's service history just bear with me while I flick to the right page So the first service was carried out at 40,000 miles by a main dealer. Then we've got the next one at 74,000, again by a main dealer. We have one at 91,000, non-main dealer. In fact, we have two here at 91,000. One in 2015 and one in 2016. So clearly the car didn't do very many miles in that year. Then we have another here at 93,000 miles in 2017. Another at 104,000 miles. And its final stamp here at 106,000 miles. This is the one that's been carried out under my watch. So that makes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven stamps in total. The car has just been serviced. It's just passed its MOT and it's just had its mechanical check. So the car wants for absolutely nothing and has a stack of paperwork to back up its history. Now then, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is the part of the video where I take you for a bit of a test drive. The benefit should be immediately obvious to you. You get to see how this fantastic car drives and you don't even have to leave the comfort of your own home. So off we go. So of course, what you want to know is how this car drives. The car drives fantastically well. In fact, it drives as well as it looks. It looks fantastic, this car, and it drives equally 
as well. The steering is fantastic, it is agile, it doesn't feel like an estate car at all, it doesn't feel heavy or boat-like, the steering is very, very agile and precise. The gear changes are silky smooth, just a couple of fingers. The clutch is spot on, exactly where it should be, not too high, not too low, and it's very easy to depress the clutch. As you can see from what I'm doing there, it is very, very, very smooth and easy to drive in that respect. There are no unwanted knocks or rattles, bangs, etc. Everything works exactly as it should. As I mentioned earlier in the video, everything in this cabin works exactly as it should. Heated seats, air conditioning, heating, cruise control, radio, electric windows, electric mirrors. It's got a fantastic specification, this car, and everything works exactly as it should. And the drive is very, very comfortable, very smooth and refined. But there is, of course, a little bit of power when you need it. It does have a 1.8 litre petrol engine. It is no slouch, this car. Of course, it isn't the fastest thing in the world, but I assume that you aren't going to be driving it around any Formula One tracks anytime soon. So it doesn't need to be the fastest thing in the world. But nonetheless, it does have plenty of power when you need it the most. As you've already seen, the car does have a fantastic service history, backed up by a brand new MOT with no advisories, and it has, of course, flown through an 82-point mechanical check with no concerns whatsoever, and that includes being plugged onto a diagnostics machine and no detrimental faults whatsoever were found. So, the car wants for nothing. It's mechanically sound, it looks fantastic. The only thing it does want is for a new owner, which, of course, could be you. So I think that this concludes this section of the test drive and it's on to the final part. By now, assuming that you haven't fallen asleep or died of boredom and you're still with me, you would have seen an awful lot of this car. You would have seen the exterior, the interior, the service history, documentation, keys. You would have seen the car start. You would have heard the engine ticking over and you would have also seen how the car drives. There are just a couple of other items that I'd like to discuss with you that are non-car specific. First one, part exchange. Part exchange is welcome, it's encouraged. All you need to do is call me with the registration number and the mileage of your vehicle, and it would be useful if you had the service history to hand at the time of the call, and it will value your part exchange with you over the phone. Of course, I can only give you the trade-in value of your car. I offer ease and convenience, you want to bring a car to me and you want to drive away in a new car. If you're looking for private sale figures or even retail figures, I'm afraid that I can't help you. I can only give you the trade-in value of your car. Please do bear in mind that when you are describing the car to me, to be as honest as you can, as honest as I have been with you on this video. Presumably at some point I am going to see your part exchange, so it just saves any awkwardness if you just are as honest as you can be with the description of your part exchange vehicle. Payment. Payment is very easy. If you decide that you want the car, then I'll give you my bank details and depending on whether you're intending to come back for the car because you need to arrange your insurance or you need to sell another vehicle because you don't want to part exchange it, whatever that is, if you're going to leave a deposit, then you transfer a 250 pound deposit to me, which will hold the car for you and no one else will get the opportunity to see the car. If you decide that you want to purchase the vehicle on the strength of this video, then the same thing applies. You transfer a £250 deposit to me, give me a call and I will give you my bank details. Once you come to collect the car, the balance will then be payable upon collection. Paperwork, including taxing the car and transferring the ownership online, can be done very, very quickly. In fact, I'd say around 30 to 45 minutes from the point at which you decide that you want the car to when you drive away in it, is around that period, 30 to 45 minutes. It's a really, really quick process. By the time that you leave me, you will be road legal and ready to go. Of course, the only other thing that you'll need to do is to arrange your insurance. And finally, a few words on a delicate subject, perhaps. As you've seen from the 90 HD images that are available 
on my website and the Auto Trader advert or wherever you've seen the car, plus the written advert, all the way up to this video. I've put an awful lot of time and effort into preparing this car and this advert, and it's all done with one thing in mind, and that's to save you, the end user, the customer, as much time as possible. I'm sure you've experienced it previously if you've been buying a pre-owned car, where you've gone from dealership to dealership, traipsing from one place to another, looking at poorly described cars, and ultimately coming away feeling quite disappointed that you aren't getting what you thought you were getting. The purpose of this video is to save that time and also so you know exactly what you are getting prior to travel. It is there for you to see. Warts and all, a complete, honest, transparent description of this car. It is designed to save you time. So with that in mind, I'd really appreciate if that courtesy was reciprocated back to me and you didn't make an appointment on this car if you had no intention of buying it. All I ask is that you extend that courtesy back to me and don't make the appointment if you have no intention of buying the vehicle. Of course, I appreciate that people will need to come out. You will need to come out to verify what you've seen in this video and I actively encourage you to do that. Of course, I want you to come out. I want you to see what is in this video that you've seen is accurate and 100% the case. And I want you to come out and verify that. But equally, I'd like it if you can make some key buying decisions before you do. So if you're unsure if you want a black or a white car, or if you're not sure if you want a manual or automatic, or you're not even sure if you want this particular make and model of car and you're looking at several, then please do make those key buying decisions before you make the appointment to see this car. So thanks very much for watching this video. Um, most people who come to buy cars from me are really happy with the videos and say what a great idea it is and I hope you feel that way too. I hope that even if you decide this isn't the car for you and you sat here and watched 20 minutes and you know, it's not really for me, well okay but at least you haven't wasted two or three hours coming out and then to decide that the car isn't for you. So I hope that you found this video useful and that you enjoyed watching it and I look forward to showing you this car soon. Thanks very much for watching.